Ross. No quiero golpes de atrás, no quiero golpes bajos y chocar los guantes y que gane mejor. Chocar los guantes. So Rhiannon Dixon carrying the demeanor of someone who really wants to enjoy wherever this process takes her in the professional ranks. Four fights unbeaten so far, up against the very experienced amateur in Marjuba Ugtil, but who's had only four fights in the pro ranks, having turned pro only in October of last year. The Moroccan who now lives in Italy. Good fight on paper, this, Mike. Both unbeaten. Rihanna Dixon, lovely, smooth rhythm fighter. When she gets in her groove, she really is a pleasing fighter on the eye. Busy, working the body really well under the tutelage of Anne Crawler in the corner. And up till she's awkward, you can see already she likes to measure her opponents with that long lead, left hand controls the distance well behind that. She's very tricky, she's awkward. I feel pressure, tempo, going through the gears is required from Dixon. Make life difficult and uncomfortable for Uptil. Uptil has just caught her with a couple of light jabs on the right-hand side of the face in the early stages in a contest in which there's been little scoring done so far. She's drafty up till, has a nice right straight down the middle from the Moroccan. She's got a really tall frame, she does come up right up till, so the shots to the body like that one from Dixon, the left straight down the middle, but she needs to faint and poke that jab out to the body, be busy with the straight shots to the body, then come back upstairs. And not unlike Rika Arusia in the previous contest, Darren, attempt to get into some kind of rhythm, some kind of exactly, flow. Exactly, exactly that, Mike. That was a good left hand from Dixon. She's very accurate, but it's difficult when you're in there with someone no. tricky like Uptil. getting there now you've got you've got to get your feet inside to yeah. bring that back up stop yeah it's great that you're shooting it down have a little drink yeah deep breaths deep breaths to the nose good and again we've just got to get our feet there yeah yeah just falling a little bit short yeah, you landing some good shots you got if you've got to double the jab yeah, yeah. sometimes jab drop that right off yeah, yeah. you think about where you're non-punching and there's just one to twice just just a little bit. that was it yeah but other than that's good mm -hmm. first round in a long time yeah deep breaths <laughs> Into the second round then, scheduled to go six. Two-minute rounds as the development phase of the career of Rhiannon Dixon continues here. The command from Anthony Crawler to close the space, and that was better. Good body shot again from Dixon. Yeah, followed the, the left to the body as well. Straight down the middle, sound, confident advice from Crawler. So relaxed. Never, never flustered and Rihanna looks like she's taken that on board. She's bringing her feet in exactly what Quella was asking for. You can see up till every time Rihanna plants her feet, she moves out of range. So, like Quella said there, so important that she steps in, double jab to the body, double target the shots, like I said, in the opening round, straight down the middle of that midriff of up till, then work upstairs. Just doesn't look flustered at all up till she just calm she looks exactly how she does in all her other contests really tries to frustrate her opponents and 
draw out the lead and come back. You see her on the front foot now. This is kind of out of character. Maybe she's found some confidence from the opening round. Need a response from Dixon now, who's being forced back. And there's a lump appearing, yeah. Darren, on the left eye of Rhiannon and Dixon. Oh, there is, yes. And that might close quickly. There's some real swelling there. You're right, Mike. I'm not sure if that was a clash of heads. I didn't see a shot of any note, but she's under pressure here from Mutel. Oh, that was a lovely lead right hook from Dixon. Lovely shot. Best shot of the contest so far, right at the end of the second round. Just when she needed a lift. Okay. See if we can find the shot or the clash of heads. But that was that lovely right hook. She kept her left hands up. She's got full rotation in the shot. She's done well taking that shot up till because that was right on the point of the chin. You see it there. Lovely shot, well timed, and she can take confidence from that. But that's just some nasty swelling over the left eye of Dixon. Yeah, we're going to keep our red moving. Yeah. Into the third round then, and still much to play for for Rhiannon Dixon. That good right hook also had successes with the left hand to the body in the second round, having been on the end of a couple of jabs in the opening round, a very low scoring round. Confidence is extremely high from Uptill here. Oh, lovely right hook! Second time in the contest it's landed, and Uptill down on the canvas. Brilliant right hook from Rhiannon Dixon. And Crawler in the corner on the far side of the screen, just telling her now just to calm down, look for the openings. That was a beautiful shot. She landed it in that second round, and she's landed it again. As she pushes up till back, that was a beautifully timed shot. And again, she's got to be careful there, up to how she's trading with Dixon. And there's a menace now about the work of Dixon on the front foot. There's a confidence. She needed that, Dixon. That's a good response. Oh, that's very, very, very harsh from the referee there. I have no idea why a point has been taken away from Rana Dixon there. I have absolutely no idea. Use of the head, according to the referee, and Anthony Crawler absolutely furious in the Dixon corner. That's the shot, that straight left down the body, then follow it with the right hook upstairs. She can't be predictable with the shot now, Dixon. She's landed it a couple of times, but she can't load up someone with the experience and know-how of up till she will avoid that shot. So you've got to set the traps that left to the body first. I must say, though, this is a good response from up till. She seems to have recovered from that knockdown. And there's blood at the top of the head of Dixon. That must have been from the clash of heads. With left hand again to the body from Dixon in what was an otherwise messy exchange. Eventful round there with Dixon scoring a knockdown and then being doctor point for use of the head. Very, very good round, yeah? You feel OK? Yeah. Your high action looks better now, John. It's a great job. Yes, listen. It's OK, it's no problem. Do you need breath? And listen, shh, stop. Yeah. It's OK. Yes, listen, fine. Breath, it's no problem, it's good. Just you can't get okay. fucking low, yeah, because he's pulling you up on everything, yeah? Referee so taking a good look at the cut on the head of Rhiannon like Dixon before hand, yeah? deciding that the Down, yes, contest the can t continue good. into good. the second half. You come out low all the time. The only time you get out it is you get hit is when you come out high, yeah? yeah. Feel okay? Yeah. How's the engine feel? Fine. You look good. absolutely fantastic. Fine. Hey? What? What? Oh, so you can see just, just what about exactly what happened here. Going low with that head, yeah? ah. She's pulling in. Off the door, yeah? Well, there was the knockdown. It was a beautiful shot. Say full rotation into the shot. I've no idea what happened for Dixon to receive that point deduction. 
into the fourth we go and the expression on the face of Uptila, she was floored there. We saw in the slow motion replay suggested that she was as frustrated as much as hurt by allowing that shot to get through. And Dixon tried to land it again a couple of times in the latter half of the round. Good kind of punch in there from Dixon. Wide, wild shot from up till. Nice crisp one two straight down the middle from Dixon. Get a bit scrappy in this fourth round. She needs to work the body with the straight shots. Dixon. Oh, there's that right hook again. Carries that chin far too high up till wide open to that right hook. But like I said in the previous round, she can't go looking for that all the time. She's got to set the trap. That was a nice lead right hook to the body from Dixon. Second time she's landed that. Yeah. Uptil been around a long time, even though she only turned professional in October of last year. Boxed the London 2012 Olympics, where she got to the quarterfinals and was beaten by the Brazilian Ariana Araujo. Well, I mean, a, a shot landed there, Mike. That was a left to the body. Though she was off balance, it wasn't her. It was a body shot. She did, she did go down from the shot. No question that the heavier hitting coming from Rhiannon Dixon here, end of the fourth round. Listen, you've got some very well now, yeah? You've settled into it. Do you feel tired at all? Yeah. Keep your head straight, look at Listen. me, listen to that one. Look at John, drink. Give it up, just spin. Listen, now there, you can hold your feet a little bit more, but jab, drop right up, yeah? yeah? Stay low, listen. Don't be holding her at all after it, because he's just getting very, very funny, OK? Aww. Yeah? Keep your head straight for me. Look at look, keep your head straight. Listen, jab, slip right up. You've landed a few lovely right ups. That should have been a knockdown, really, because it landed. Yeah. OK? Yeah. All right, don't worry me. about it. Keep your head straight. You yeah, can hold your feet a little bit more. Shot getting a bit in the more previous round. Now. Vision, OK, can you see me? Really well timed. Yeah. Drop the shoulder and pull the right up. Top work, job. See, she's got full rotation into that shot. Look she's look done well. Look up till to, to recover, I see. Dixon raised her hands. Oh, she can get the shot done. I felt like Andy Crawler did in the corner there, that... That straight body shot should have been a count. So the ref has been harsh on Dixon in this contest. So into the fifth round, and this is the uh, only the second time in her career that Dixon has gone this far. Last time travelled the full six rounds, outpointing the durable Lithuanian Vida Nasiokaiti for the second time in her career. Lovely left hand to the body once again. Good variation from Dixon. Is beginning to find a home for the stronger shots now. They're the shots, Mike. The, the straight one-twos down the body. Don't target the head. Work upstairs, up till more of the same. She's trying to mess Dixon, frustrate her with those long levers. Very unorthodox kind of boxing, but it works for her. Creeping forward on the front foot. This is when Dixon's had most of the success with that. Right hook as she does again. Once again, and the legs are unsteady. Up tilt. Caught for the third time in the contest. Strongly by that right hook. Once going down, twice being badly shaken. Good work from Dixon. Back comes up till. Case now for the, the younger, fresher Dixon to, to make the older 39 year old Uptil work. She doesn't look phased, and that was some good work from Uptil. It's a right hook, and then she comes marching forward with four shots. And I mentioned that this is the second time that Dixon has gone into the fifth round. Is she too beginning to feel the pace as Uptil now tries to up the tempo, starting to realize that she too has to claw back the deficit. Stop. 
l'aria, recupera, brava, sì, ascolta a me, non ce la fa, se tu pressi non ce la fa, ok, vuoi vincere? Non l'aspettare, perché aspetti? Che penso io? Ok, dietro? Bravo, questo è molto meglio, dammi un pochino, sì. Alexander May here, waiting in the dressing room next into the ring against Fran Mendoza here. Another one of the eagerly awaited contests on the main card to come. So Util gets on the front foot at the beginning of this Sixth and final round, has success at the end of the fifth round, a signal that there's still plenty of fight left in the Moroccan-born, who's now living in Italy. And Rhiannon Dixon will have to look to rediscover that success that she was having with the right hand in particular and the left hand to the body in the previous rounds. Yeah, exactly what you're saying there, Mike, changing the levels, head, body, head, body, constantly work that target over the taller target. And there's that right hook, that is a knockdown. That is, a, that is a scoring blow there. The referee getting confused here, telling yeah. Rhiannon Dixon to go to the blue corner, which is Uptil's corner, and finally he does take up the count, but after giving Uptil an extra five seconds or so recovery time. But again, it's Dixon on top, and that right hook has been so, so successful throughout the contest. Yeah, I'm so glad that the referees see that. It was definitely a... A scoring blow that dropped Uptil. She wasn't hurt off balance, but this is good work on the back foot. Uptil trying to respond, coming forward. And this should give Dixon the opportunities to catch her on the way in, Darren. Yeah, that's where she's had the success with the right hook. Oh, but Uptil landing a right hook of her own. And Ann Crawler did say in the corner to be careful on the way out of those exchanges. 30 seconds to go here. Who's going to empty the tank and let their shots go? Good work, good left to the body from Dixon. Good work from Uptil in response. Uptil fighting until the last. Two shots in particular have been very successful for Dixon throughout the contest. The left hand to the body, the right hook to the chin. And the development phase that I was talking about earlier on in the career of Rhiannon Dixon continues here with her toughest test so far. That was a good scrap, Mike. It was entertaining. Similar to the, the opening con contest, contrasting styles. But they gelled at times. Up to a very, very difficult opponent to fight. She's awkward, she's tricky, but that right hook I'm so glad that the referees see that some, if you're not positioned in the right place, but you can see there, the referee's exactly in the right place to, to see that shot land. And for a second, I didn't feel he was going to give the knockdown, but he did, he gave the count. And back come up to with her own right hook. Yeah, it was scrappy at times, but when they both let the shots go, it was exciting. And she'll learn an awful lot from that, Dixon. She really will. An awkward, like I say, an awkward style up till messy and very difficult to look good against. And having to deal, Darren, with those blemishes around the eye being treated there by John Hawkinson in the corner. Yeah, they've done really well, Mike, didn't they, to control that swelling? Because usually when you see one of those swellings, you picked up on it, they usually really do grow and shut the eye quite quickly. So fair play in the corner there. They really, really did a good job on that eye. Twenty-seven-year-old Rhiannon Dixon, one of her best friends, James Moorcroft, appears later on the bill, also with Ant Crawler in his corner. Both travelling over from the northwest of England. Moorcroft in tough against the local fighter Jon Miguez. As we await the official scores here for this six-round contest.
the second time in her career so far that Rhiannon Dixon has gone the six round distance and this is the first opponent that she's faced who came to the ring with a winning record. Yeah, but it's, uh, it would do her the world of good, this, uh, this fight, she'll be able to, to adjust, go back to the drawing ball, but there'll be a lot of experience gained from fighting up till, that's for sure. So the referee brings them together in the centre of the ring and very shortly we'll get the official verdict from tonight's MC, Juan Sao. Pues, después de seis asaltos en el peso ligero, tenemos las decisiones de los jueces. 54, 57, 53, 58, 52, 60. Victoria por decisión dividida para la esquina roja, Rhiannon Dixon. Un fuerte aplauso para ellas. So success for 27-year-old Rhiannon Dixon. Moves to 5-0, the winner by a split decision. One of the judges liking the work of Marjuna Uptil. But that the toughest test of the career so far for Dixon. And she will have learned so much from that particular contest.